Hi, I'm Prakrit from Team Digit. And I'm Siddhant. Yeah, uh, we've spent the last one month with the Aces Vivo PC and uh, my friend Siddhant here. So, uh, tell, tell us a little bit about it. Like, cover what you've done with it so far. We've done pre previously done three videos with the Aces Vivo PC. In the first video, we actually unboxed the Asus Vivo PC and uh, you know saw what contents it had in in the box. So it came with this uh, metallic keyboard and the Asus Vivo Mouse WT720. So that's a nice looking piece. Yeah, we were quite impressed with the design of the entire package. So anyway, ne the next video we uh, looked at the Sonic Master facility built into the Asus Vivo PC. We actually saw that the Asus Vivo PC had a speaker built into the system it itself. So you could use the Vivo PC as a standalone speaker. You wouldn't, uh, you know, actually need to attach new speakers externally. And the performance that the yeah, inbuilt speaker provided, right here, yeah, right? the, the speaker grills are right at the bottom. So the performance that it provided was very good as far as the size is concerned. So we were pretty impressed by it. The next thing we saw was the Asus Vivo Mouse. This was configured to uh, be used with different gestures. For example, in Windows 8 and 8.1, you could uh, you could actually use different gestures and control. So it had a three-in-one function. So you could actually use this as a remote, or you could use it as a regular mouse, and you could also use this as a touchpad. So you had three different functions into it. I heard it's pretty easy to upgrade. I mean. Uh yeah, so that's actually what we covered in the third video. So in the third video, we looked at how easy it is to upgrade the Asus Vivo PC. They've actually mentioned that it has an easy upgrade facility built into it. So users have the flexibility to replace the existing hard drive that is uh, that comes with the Asus Vivo PC. And the same goes for the RAM as well. So they've compartmentalized the entire package and uh, you just have to slide the top, pop, uh, or top cover and remove the drive and the same goes for the RAM as well. Making it quite easy so you don't have to really go to a guy to get it fixed everything. Yeah, so you don't have to run all the way to the service center just because if you want to you know, replace the hard drive. That's convenient. Yeah. So uh, what are we going to be covering today? Today we'll be talking about benchmarks. And what are the benchmarks today about this? So uh, to gauge the performance of the Asus Vivo PC, we ran a few industry standard benchmarks on it. Uh, to name a few, we ran the FutureMark, 3D Mark, and PC Mark benchmarks on it. And future mark gave you what indication? So the creative score that the PC uh, mark benchmark gave us uh, tells us how the PC performs in photo editing and video editing. So for that, the score that we got was one seven five six. So according to the score, uh, we would say that uh, the score is pretty good for a PC of this size, and uh, it would perform well uh, in case of you know photo editing. And so video. if I'm a photo editor, I should totally buy this. Yeah, yeah, sure. What about productivity? So for productivity, uh, we ran the PC Mark uh, work benchmark on it. So the work benchmark score that we got was two six five two. So this score uh, tells us that the uh, Vivo PC is very good for web browsing and multitasking. It can simult simultaneously work on different spreadsheets and Word docs and uh, you know uh, work on them simultaneously. And the Vivo PC will perform brilliantly for that. So it's good for offices who want something a little classy to. Yeah, absolutely. And what about gaming? I mean, I'm a bit, bit of a gamer myself. Yeah, so to check out the gaming performance, we actually ran FutureMark uh, 3D Mark gaming benchmark. Mm. So the 3D Mark iStorm benchmark gave us a score of 31,520. So mm. Which would mean I'll probably be able to play casual games more than... Yeah, so that actually says that it's, it's very good for casual gaming. So nothing heavy duty? Yeah, nothing heavy duty, but the casual gaming that you would get on this would be very good. What if I'm just looking for an entertainment PC? The Vivo PC is very good for entertainment as well. You could actually easily uh, run uh, full HD videos and movies on it. You could use it as a HD PC and it, since it comes with a HDMI output at the back, you could easily hook it up to your TV and uh, you know, watch movies so on it. So definitely for someone who wants it just for home entertainment. Yeah, sure. So what kind of person would want to buy an Asus Vivo PC? Uh, someone who would actually want to save a lot of space See, everyone, quite yeah, compact, yeah, yeah, everyone these days actually, you know, uh, go for something that saves a lot of space in their home, even in their office. So the Asus Vivo PC is so small that you can actually hide it anywhere you want, and uh, it also has the option to, uh, you know, mount it at the back of your uh, monitor, for example. So you can use a VESA mount and mount it at the back, and that would actually, you know, hide it from plain sight. But honestly, I don't know why you want to hide it. it looks yeah, but pretty, quite it looks good. quite cool as well so if if you are, you are someone who doesn't want to hide it you can actually show it off to your friends and anyone who wants to see it 
another group of people who would like to buy the Asus Vivo PC would be someone who would want to save power. So say a typical uh, entry level gaming PC would consume uh, 350 watts at maximum load but the Asus Vivo PC at max load com uh, consumes around 55 watts uh, around 55 watts and uh, at idle it consumes around 20 watts. So that's a pretty good situation considering if you want to go for power saving you could save actually a lot on your electricity bills using the Asus Vivo PC. Uh, as far as connectivity is concern, concerned, they have actually packed in the uh, latest wireless uh, standard that is the Wi-Fi wi 802.11 AC. So that standard allows uh, you to have extremely high uh, wireless speeds. So that's a win situation with the Asus Vivo PC. So what do you think about the future of mini PCs from the point of view of Asus? I would say it has been pretty good at, until now because uh, with the Asus Vivo PC we saw that uh, they have done a pretty good job of adding a lot of features and packing it in a uh, uh, PC of this size and we would like to see this trend continue onwards in the PCs that would they, they would make in future. So thanks Adan for the rundown on the Asus Vivo PC. Yeah, thanks a lot Prakrit. Stay tuned and thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.